Hi, this is Steve Watt, Zookin USA, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about editing schematic sheets in CR8000 Design Gateway and EDT, which is an engineering desktop tool. So from Design Gateway, I've got the ability I can go and open a recent design here. And now I've got the SDM level and then the circuit folder where all the sheets live. And I've got different commands that are available from here. With the dot sir open, I've got the ability to copy sheets, import sheets, or change sheet names. I can also add a blank sheet to the circuit. Copy sheet, you know, works like you would expect. You select a sheet and then you specify where you want to copy it to. We'll go back to that here in a second. Import sheet lets you import a sheet from a separate .cir folder. So you can you know, select a sheet in a different design or a group of sheets and import those into here, into an existing active design. Well, in the same vein, I've got the ability to insert a sheet here. And it's a little, it can get a little confusing, but it's essentially the same command as what we were looking at with import. With insert sheet, it's looking for a sheet in a separate design to be inserted at that position in the schematic. So it's just a little bit different way to get to the same function. Um, and other commands that are available on unopened sheets. If my sheet is open, these commands go away. But I do have the ability to rename this sheet um, or, like I previously mentioned, insert a sheet. So if I, for instance, if I look at my sheet four and that's the sheet that I want to have several copies of, I can go ahead and select that. And then from here, I can right click and say copy sheet. And I want to copy sheet four. And I want my new sheet to be sheet five, but it won't let me insert that at this point. So what I need to do is name that sheet five. Okay. So I've got a sheet 105 here. So what that tells me is that I can then use that as a reference uh, to move that to the position I want it to be. And the way I would do that, let me go ahead and save this. Or excuse me, let me go ahead and close this. I would go to the design editor. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the engineering desktop. So from engineering desktop, if I navigate to that position, I now see that I've got this sheet 105 here. But what I really want to do is I want to move that sheet up to position 5. So I've got 105 here. I want the new sheet name to be 5. And then when I select OK, it's going to say insert where all sheets are shifted or insert shifted to an open sheet. So the next available non-assigned slot. And I'm going to use all sheets are shifted. And so now if I refresh this, I now have a 15 sheet schematic. And if I open up that sheet five, here, so now I've got sheet five open in my circuit and it looks just like my sheet four. So if I wanted to, I could then go and renumber these reference designators since this has been fully assigned out. I've got IC1 here and IC8 over here and uh, CN3. So I can go to the design assist and I can do a circuit reference report just for my own info. It tells me that my ICs are assigned out at 1 to 14 and my CNs are assigned 1 to 8. That's just kind of general information. Um, if I then go to the design assist reference allocator and do a circuit reference allocator and I go ahead and leave the defaults that are set here 
and OK that, it goes ahead and updates this. So now I've got IC15, uh, let's see here, and IC16. And this is now CN9. So it's gone ahead and reassigned those reference designators of all the components. Those are just some samples. But in essence, everything is reassigned at this point. So it's pretty quick to go in and, you know, copy a circuit sheet and then go to EDT and renumber it to get it into the right sequence. Um, you know, and it's fairly straightforward. Uh, once I close those sheets, let's say I no longer want this sheet 5, I can delete this sheet from the circuit. But now I've got this gap. I've got sheet 4 and sheet 6. So if I select here and I say change sheet name, I've basically got this small form that shows up. And there's three little radio buttons over here. Fill in sheet name, which is going to go ahead and pull those sheet names into a 456 kind of arrangement. Display the EX sheet name and back to the EX sheet name. So in other words, if I go ahead and do this, now I've got four through or four and five and so on, and it's back to a 14 sheet schematic where we've got 15 with the blank between four and six here. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to do. If I change my mind, I can go back um, and put that space back in there. But I, I want to go ahead and pull that tight. And so if I do that, now I'm back to a 14-sheet schematic. So that's kind of the basics of sheet editing in Design Gateway and the Engineering Desktop. It's a little bit uh unclear that you need to do it in two different tools to get things ordered properly um, but once you get used to doing it it goes by pretty quickly and it's uh it's it's easy to adapt to thank you for your time and i appreciate it